Hi guys! It is the midweek video and you know what it means. Now make up Thursday. Everybody's looking a little worse for wear. At least today I don't have COVID here, so it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. We've got a cute little project for you today. Um, I thought for the fall a little scarecrow might be fun to do, so we're going to create a little scarecrow using a pretty basic uh, wood piece and believe it or not, a popsicle stick. So we're going to create that. But before we get to that, we do have some winners from our draw last week. They're Eileen Lipscomb, Macy, Marty Mace, I'm sorry, <laughs> and Trish Jenkins. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me uh, last week for the midweek uh, video. And uh, your goodies have been uh, packed and are ready to ship, so they will go out tomorrow. Thank you so much for leaving your comments. So today's video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and uh, leave us a message or a comment and tell us where you're watching from. We'd love to know. And I do have a giveaway again for this week. We have a gorgeous little set of faux squirrel brushes for one of you. Those will be selected early on next week and we will let you know in the midweek video. And I have a visitor with me in the studio today. Soot is walking around on the table, knocking things over. <laughs> All right, I think we're just about ready to get started. So this is the little guy we're going to work on, a uh, little scarecrow. We're using a simple ornament blank. It's a rectangle, kind of looks like um, barn board if you look at the finished piece, but it is a simple rectangle. What I did was I took a popsicle stick and I glued it on sort of at a jaunty angle so that it would become his hat. So we have this little hat here. So once it's base coated, this is what it looks like. So um, the hat is just a simple base coat of a schwaltum, which is that dark brown that I use all the time. And the eyes are base coated with lamp black. The face is base coated with light buttermilk. So this is a very basic, very basic piece. And he's very easy to finish up. So, to do this, we need to create a little bit of texture on our scarecrow to make him look like burlap, and I'm using a really high-tech material for that. This is drywall tape. So we're going to use this sticky mesh as a stencil and create the texture on both the hat and on his face. So I have a piece already cut, and I simply just lay it on the surface and press it down. I'm going to use one of my stencil brushes and I'm going to pick up a small amount of eschfaltum on my stencil brush and I'm just going to stencil just like this around that corner of the board and then I'll peel it off and it leaves this interesting little texture. I'm going to repeat that on the other side a little bit of a schwaltum on the stencil brush. Not a ton. We just want enough to change the color of that face. And I'll do the same thing down here along the bottom. It's really handy, this, this drywall tape creates a lot of textures. You can do this with both with paint and with texture mediums. This produces almost a, a needlepoint effect if you use a coarse medium like gesso to create the texture. And then when you dry brush over it, it creates the, a very fabric-like look. So there we go. So I've got the texture on the face of my scarecrow. So now I want to repeat that on his hat. Only this time I'm going to use a little bit of raw sienna. Because we're working on a dark brown, I need a slightly lighter color to create that texture. If you wanted to, you could even use a little bit of white to do this. But I kind of like that subtle change of color as opposed to anything too strong. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side of his hat. 
And there you have it, drywall to create the texture. So I just quickly clean out my stencil brush. So now, oh, he's looking cute already. Now we're going to put a little bit of color in his cheeks. I'm going to use a little bit, this is country red, and I'm putting this on my point blender and I'm going to rouge it around on my palette till the brush is almost dry. And then I'm going to, in a circular fashion, just rouge a little color into his cheeks, just like that. And I'll do the same on this side. Just like that. Easy peasy. See, he's looking so cute already. So he has a candy corn for a nose. So I'm going to use a little bit of Decor's Warm Sunset, which is this orangey color. And I'm just going to paint one stripe of orange here. I kind of like the irregularities in it. It doesn't have to be perfect. He is a little scarecrow. So I have that warm sunset. And then I have a little bit of golden straw, which is this yellow tone. That's our next color in this candy corn. So I'm just going to scribble, literally, a little of that yellow right here. And then to finish out the candy corn, I need a little bit of white. And I'm using warm white. Not a lot of it. And I'm just going to fill up that so that it blends down into that yellow. There's our candy corn. So there is some straw coming out from underneath his hat. So I'm using that number two rigger or a liner, whatever you have. And you're going to just put some squiggly lines like so. I'm just gonna go with two or three like this. And then take that dirty brush and pick up a little of that warm sunset. And I'm going to alternate in between that yellow to put in some straw. And then to keep it light, pick up a little bit of that warm white. Oops, a little too much water in my brush. I'm just going to pull it off with a brush. There we go. And I'll just put a little scribble of that warm white, like that. So now we have a little bit of straw coming out of his hat. So let's go to his eyes. So for that, I'm using, this one is a quarter inch angle. Now I need to put a highlight on his eyes. So I'm going to tip load this angle and then brush it out. I've loaded it with warm white but I don't want the color full strength, so I'm going to blend it out quite well. And then I'm going to put a highlight just inside the edge of that eye and about halfway around. And I'm going to do that to both eyes. And then his eyes need a nice highlight, nice bright highlight. So I'm going to use the tip of my brush and put a nice bright dot of white on each eye. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of lamp black because our scarecrow needs some eyelashes. And I'm going to just three little strokes off of the eye like so. They don't need to be too fine. See, he's looking really cute already. So now we have to add some shading. 
both to our hat and to this face. So we're going to start with the hat. Now I've got a little bit of lamp black on my brush and I'm going to float it across the base above the brim of the hat. And I want this to be a fairly wide float. There we go. Just like that. Gives this hat a little bit of dimension. And now we're going to start shaping his face. So I'm going to pick up a little more water and I'm loading my brush to float with asphaltum. And I'm going to blend this out well. And I'm going to start right underneath the brim of his hat. And I'm going to walk that float under the brim, down the side and into the corner on the bottom, like that. And I'm going to repeat that on this side. Round out the corner and come up under the brim of his hat. So I try to keep it so that the corners are darkest and then the center portion of the face stays quite bright. So I'm going to just take a second to dry this. Almost blew it off the table. And I'm going to reload my brush with asphaltum and I'm going to pay a particular amount of attention to these corners so that they're nice and deep. I want to keep that float soft. And I'll do the same thing here. There we go. So now I'm going to deepen that shading just a little bit more, but I'm going to do that with a little bit of soft black. Again, paying particular attention to these corners. like that. So next, I'm going to take my favorite pen, which is my Uniball Signo, and I'm going to use my small angular and I'm going to put a shadow on one side of his candy corn nose, right here. Just like that. And then I'm going to use my Uniball Signo and go around and make sort of a stitch type detail around his nose with that gel pen and I'm going to highlight his mouth the same way and this little line under his chin under his lip I should say and I'm going to put a shadow under that as well just to give it a little dimension right here So now he needs some eyebrows. So I'm going to use that gel pen again to give him some eyebrows. Just a scribbly little line, nothing too distinct. And I also want to give him a nice little highlight on his cheeks. 
He's got great blush on his cheeks, but let's put a little highlight with a white dot. And now we're about ready to do the next step, which is to add our little give thanks. We're going to do that with a little bit of matte medium. I'm going to put a little of that on my angle brush. The matte medium is really nice to use, so we just brush a little evenly on the surface. Now I have the word give thanks. I cut that out of just copy paper. Get this wet with a little bit of water. And it should be just wet. And then lay it into that matte medium that we put at the bottom of our little fellow. And then brush a light coat of that matte medium right over top of that paper. Now I'm going to quickly dry this. steps. I like to spatter almost anything. If it's got a country theme, I think it has to have a little bit of spatter or fly specking or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to start with a little bit of Ishfaltum and I'm going to lightly spatter him. Nothing too heavy, just a little. Then rinse the brush and I'm going to repeat that with a little bit of thinned warm white. The spattering has, sort of softens everything just a little bit, but I like that little bit on the hat. I do like that little bit of white. It just keeps him nice and soft looking. Now, I do like my edges finished, and with everything else, I love using this gold leaf pen, this liquid gold pen, and I just put a simple bead of that gold around the edges to finish everything nicely. I just like how it looks. It gives everything a nice professional looking finish. Adds a little bit of bling at the same time. It's never a bad thing to have a little bit of bling. There we go, we have a little gold on there. Now it needs a little more color, so I went digging through my stash of stuff. I know we all have a stash of stuff. And I dug up these great little sunflowers. They were in my box full of flowers. And I salvaged one of the leaves off of it too. And then I used a glue gun. I'm going to put a fairly generous amount of glue right here on the brim of his hat. I'm going to tuck that leaf in like so. Now I took my scissors and I cut that little extra bit of plastic that was on there. And I tuck that right there and a little bit of wire and he is ready to hang. How simple was that? Fun to do, really, really easy to do. If you cannot find ornament blanks, I have a great solution, something that you can do with the kids, with the grandkids, and that's with popsicle sticks. Simply line up six of them onto a piece of cardstock and glue them in place, and then lay one at a jaunty angle across the top and then paint as usual. These make great ornaments for Halloween or for fall or for Thanksgiving. Make great little teacher's gifts too. So that's it, that's as difficult as he gets. He's fun, he's easy to do, and I think he's kind of cute. So thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook on Tracy Morrow Live. We have a free live class every Saturday. And uh, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Love you. Stay safe.